every once in a while, and I've had this experience about four or five times now, um, I'll have this experience as if I'm expanding, or my mind is expanding, or like I'm leaving, I'm leaving this reality. And uh, at first it's like, oh, cool. But maybe three or four or five seconds later, I realize it feels like, oh, shit, this is too fast. And I don't want to go all the way yet. Um, and so I, I kind of come back. And, uh, but I also have this sense of this feeling of, you know, it's okay. There's no rush. You know, so there's no guilt either. But I'm, I'm curious, uh, what if I were to be like, okay, let's go. And basically take that leap of faith and just go with it wherever it's leading me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's beautiful. It seems like that's all that I've been doing for myself and sharing and extending is this sense of, of go for it, go for it, you know. Uh, you know, kind of like that, that, that old poem, you know, Two Roads diverged in a woods and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I remember when I was in uh, high school, I think I was a, maybe a junior, and it's something that just leaped at me from those words. The road less traveled, you know, I, I just was, I, maybe I was just gearing up then for I don't know what. <laughs> you know, just like, ooh, something leaps with that. And not from a sense of rebelliousness or from a sense of making anything wrong or whatever, but but more just this, just this genuine sense of, of happiness and joy just welling up inside. Um, it does seem to be that that's how we really open to miracles. You know, when we really say, okay, I'm willing to go with this and, and let it take me wherever it's going to take me. Uh, you've already, you've been having those kind of expansive kind of experiences and, and you, know, you can feel the vastness a sense of limitlessness that goes with those, and then it's just the ego that will try to come in with not so fast and whoa, just hold on to things, um, you know. And I've had people that have written me quite long emails, or they've, you know, they've given themselves over to some pretty deep experiences, and where they seem to just lose awareness of the world around. Um, or uh, they'll have a, a spouse or a boyfriend or a friend that will kind of come and find them <laughs> kind of incoherent <laughs> uh, in their, but in their own awareness they're just having these vast experiences. I think of this movie I saw years ago called Eden where it was, I, I rented the movie and I went home and I thought well I wonder what this movie's about and the whole movie was basically about astral projection. <laughs> It was like an astral projection movie, you know, where the main character was just was experimenting with, with all this kind of travel and expansive going into other realms and so forth, contrasted with her life in this world as a mother uh, with children. And the whole movie was back and forth, back and forth, you know, where she would go be hospitalized seemingly and go what they thought was into like comas or whatever. And from her perspective, she was just expanding and exploring consciousness, and and the two, you know, didn't seem to reconcile. You know, the the dream figures were very concerned, <laughs> like this is not good. Mom is comatose. <laughs> it's not. Talk about a fully functioning mom. She's like on the zero on the scale of <laughs> one to ten. You know, because it was all her inner experience of of exploring other realms and astral projection. And so, I think that's, that could be said that the most helpful thing of this whole uh, Strawberry Fields Forever is, is really just a witness to, you know, just really giving yourself full permission to go for it. And then to share that, and because as we have these miraculous experiences and we share them, then it just is more of a chorus of witnesses for, oh, this is glorious, you know, why were we even thinking we should hold off? <laughs> I mean, what, what were we thinking when we were trying to be limited and small when there's enormous uh, opportunities for that vastness and expansiveness? So, 
thank you for going for it. Woohoo, as, as Laurie says. <laughs>